The portable flexible fiber scopes or handy scopes are great for a wide variety of basic inspections. These units will give you a standalone unit with an incorporated light source into the handle and then also an insertion tube that you can use to probe different areas. These are available in three different diameters. You're looking at a 6mm, a 7mm and then a 9mm diameter. And lengths are typically 1.1 meters, or there are in the 7 millimeter diameters a 2.2 and a 3.2 meter length. As you'll notice from these insertion tubes, the 7 and the 9 millimeters are a little bit different in that they have a semi rigid flex and stay insertion tube. This means that when you're using the insertion tube, you can bend it and it'll hold that position until you bend it back. It's good for if you need to go around corners or if you have certain inspection areas that are S bent or shaped. The 6mm diameter doesn't have this property, it just has a flexible limp cable. With the fiber scopes themselves, there's only really two buttons that you need to worry about. The orange button controls your LED lights in the tip. You've got two in the 6 and 7mm and three in the bigger 9mm. The other button on the front here controls your battery pack. Simply release it, the batteries drop out. You should notice that you've got two batteries that are negative and then one positive. To replace them, simply line it up, slide it in, and then give it a little bit of a bump at the end, and that should lock it into place. In addition to this, these fiber scopes also do come with a 90 degree mirror tip. The tip is just a small mirror that's the same diameter as your insertion probe, so it won't increase anything. You can attach the tip just by lining up the notch on here with a little indentation, and then turn it on and it should be locked, it shouldn't fall off. In addition to the three AA batteries that are included in the tray, you are going to want to replace these probably every six to eight hours of inspection time that you're doing. We usually recommend just buying rechargeable batteries and switching them in and out, but the choice is up to you. Um, when you're using the unit, obviously you would have it simply turned on. Um, there is a focus on the eyepiece as well, so you can always adjust the focus if you're noticing that your image isn't quite clear enough or if you want something else to, uh, to be in focus. There is also an option that if you want, you can purchase these units with a video camera unit. The video camera unit is sold separately, but it is a CCD video camera. Um, basically, the coupler is gonna attach to the eyepiece, which is the same as all the other fiber scopes. Simply pull the two pins together, place it over, and then adjust the focus on the coupler, as well as the focus on your eyepiece of the fiber scope. This unit will give you a live video image on a TV monitor, or you can export the image from the video camera unit to a USB capture as well. That'll allow you to import images and video into your computer or laptop and do capture.